Today we're going to be looking at a TXT model that has deep cycle batteries and we're going to be talking about how to properly water and maintain your batteries. The first thing you're going to want to do is have some bare minimum safety equipment like glasses, which you can pick up at any hardware store, and some good quality, either disposable or reusable gloves to protect yourself from battery acid. If you've ever cut a lemon or a lime or any citrus fruit and it's gotten to a cut, battery acid is much, much worse. Trust me, these are worthwhile. Not to mention, don't wear anything that you're going to want to have stay nice. If battery acid gets on it, chalk it up, it's over. It's gonna have a hole in it, it's gonna eat through it. So we're gonna put on all of our safety gear here. One of the things you're gonna to want to make sure of is that your car is fully charged. If your car is fully charged, then you have a proper water level so you can avoid boil over. Boil over is when the batteries are charging and the water inside begins to boil to move around. Inside of the fence, inside of the battery, when it releases to the fence, it then goes across the top of your battery. Uh, going across the top of your battery, the corrosion starts to build up on those terminal ends. You're going to have to clean those and probably maintain those more if you don't water your batteries to the proper level. So we're going to look at what is the proper level of water. So after your battery is fully charged, you're going to come over and pop off these tops. Inside of these cells is where you will be looking at the water to see where it is. If you look directly inside of there, you can see that there's a lip that goes down maybe an inch and a half, two inches. You're gonna to wanna to stay underneath of that lip. That area is what allows for some of the boil up and gives it room, because if not, in these caps in the vents, it'll boil up and out. Then you're gonna to start to have the corrosion build up on your terminal heads, which is eventually gonna to cause to breakage or, 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 or worse, a fire or something else. Uh, so it is definitely a safety hazard. So down inside of there, do you see the metal plates and there's a plastic lip that goes down to those metal plates. Those metal plates are what need to be covered when, when watering and that lip that's there, that lip needs to have the water below it so that can have room for when it starts to boil. You can see down in there, even though it's maybe kind of dark, I'll try to lighten it up on the film. What we're looking at is the individual cells for this battery and having these properly watered. As of right now, you can see they're not. Those platelets are exposed. So we're going to want to fill that up to about, you know, an eighth inch underneath of that, that reservoir. You're also going to want to make sure that after you're done watering the batteries that you securely put the tops back on to also prevent boil over and unwanted venting into your garage or wherever you have it stored. You're going to want to make sure that these four caps line up in there. You may have to move some of your wiring to make sure it gets in place, but it's fine. As long as you're not bending and breaking it, you'll be okay. Once you get it in place, listen for that loud click. This shouldn't move, it shouldn't be wiggly. If it's wiggly, then underneath, one of these seals are bad, or possibly a plastic worn. So if you have older batteries, you may have to replace these caps if you're having issues with venting or having them not fit properly. You should always have that locking in and it not moving. If you have a newer model golf car like this RXV Elite, 
the Samsung SDI lithium technology in it, you're not going to have to worry about maintaining your batteries or cleaning off your terminals. Let's take a look underneath and see how they differ from the deep cycle batteries we just looked at. One of the biggest differences that you're going to notice as soon as we take this seat off to look underneath is how much more space there is. Looking underneath, you see that the whole compartment is now open because the size of the battery is only four or five inches thick. It bolts down. Your terminals are not exposed to any venting because this is a lithium battery that does not work in the same fashion as the deep cycle when it comes to how the batteries charge and how the batteries perform. This is a battery that you will simply charge and not charge. Use it up, let it sit over winter, put it in, put it in tow, and you'll be good to go. You won't have to worry about anything else. So that is the nice thing about the lithium batteries, and they come with an eight-year warranty. So there's obviously trust in this technology. Last thing that we want to touch on is what type of water do we put in our batteries? We do not put in tap water. Do not do it. This will destroy the life of your batteries and the performance of your batteries. While it may not be idea to have to go and get bottles of distilled water to bring to your house, to store there, to dump in, you would much rather go and get six gallons of distilled water than six brand new batteries. The cost doesn't seem to weigh out here. Now that your golf car is fully charged and watered, you can take it out on the course, the campground, or wherever your adventures may take you this week. Make sure you check out other videos on our YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check back frequently on our website for the latest inventory on new and used golf cars at Lake Erie Golf Cars.